Thanks for spending your time with us, folks. We're sitting ringside, ready to bring you all tonight's action in front of this capacity crowd. You'd absolutely be insane to change the channel, so don't even think about it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode number two of WWF Saturday Night's Main Event. We are following up last week's incredible debut episode here in this new wrestling universe where we crowned our very first champions here in the WWF. The Hart Foundation was able to take down Demolition for the WWF Tag Team titles. The Honky Tonk Man was able to defeat Macho Man Randy Savage for the Intercontinental title. And in our main event, the living legend Bruno San Martino was able to top the man who most are saying will take his place one day as the most dominant superstar in professional wrestling, the so-called immortal Hulk Hogan. But last week, it was not the Hulkster's night to dethrone San Martino. We continue on here tonight as we have nine more incredible matches for you tonight. We lead off here with a matchup of two of the most powerful superstars here in the WWF, as the Ultimate Warrior, who lost a tough matchup last week with the Iron Sheik and is looking to bounce back tonight in a big way, takes on the imposing Warlord of the Powers of Pain. We of course saw the Warlord in the eight-man battle royal won by Greg the Hammer Valentine last week, and both superstars are looking for their first victory in this new wrestling universe. Next up, we've got the debut of two superstars here in the WWF, the Brooklyn Brawler, best known as a henchman for Bobby the Brain Heenan, who is willing to do any dirty work the weasel gives him, no matter how despicable it may be. And the British Bulldog, a powerhouse from England who is hoping to take the WWF by storm here in America. Our third match features Sal Valiant, a superstar making his debut in the WWF this week with a huge task before him as he matches up with yet another member of the Heenan family, Mr. Perfect. While Mr. Perfect was unable to win that eight-man battle royal won by Greg the Hammer Valentine last week, he remains undefeated in the sense that he still has not been pinned or submitted by any superstar in his pro wrestling career. And while Valiant may seem an unlikely option to be the first to do so, you never know what can happen here in the WWF. Match number four features a superstar who got the big victory in that eight-man battle royal last week, Greg the Hammer Valentine taking on Brutus the Barber Beefcake who put up as much of a fight as anyone we've seen against the undefeated 8th wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, last week, but still came up short, so he'll be looking to score the big win against Valentine, who has some great momentum behind him after his win last week. Next, we'll have two superstars who have a whole lot of history behind them, as Rick the Model Martel takes on his former tag team partner, Tito Santana. These two used to be quite the tag team in the Strike Force, but eventually Martel's ego got the best of him, leading to the demise of the once promising tag team. They faced off a bit in the eight-man battle royal last week, but tonight they'll get to try and settle their differences one-on-one, -on -one, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Match six features a rematch from last week as the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, gets another crack at the man who defeated him last week, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, in another installment of the classic rich man versus average man battle. Rhodes has declared in interviews this week that he intends to show the world this week that the million dollar title that DiBiase takes with him to ringside each week is nothing but a sham. To prove that, he's going to have to be better than last week when DiBiase came out on top in a back and forth battle. The one thing you'll learn if you watch Dusty Rhodes at all is to never doubt the amount of heart that man has. Next, we have two more debuts here in the WWF as Barry Horowitz, a man who is never shy about celebrating literally anything he does well with his patented self-pat on the back, takes on a man who has promised to clean up the WWF and bring his own version of law and order to the WWF, former Cobb County, Georgia lawman, the Big Boss Man. The Big Boss Man's combination of size and power make him an instant threat to all title holders here in the WWF, so we'll see what happens in that match. Our penultimate match features our new World Heavyweight Champion, the living legend Bruno San Martino taking on Hacksaw Jim Duggan in a non-title match. Remember, even though a match is a non-title match, any victory over a title holder will surely catch the attention of the WWF General Manager and more than likely result in a title shot in the near future for whoever is able to achieve it. So tonight represents a huge opportunity for Hacksaw 
Lastly, in our main event, we have the debut of Jerry the King Lawler, a man who claims, despite what another superstar named Harley over in WCW may think, that he is the only true king of wrestling. And he has stated that he intends to prove that tonight with a victory over the macho man Randy Savage, who came up just short of being the first ever intercontinental champion last week as he dropped an epic battle against the Honky Tonk Man. As you can see, it's yet another night of incredible wrestling action, so let's not waste any more time talking about these matchups. Let's send you down to ringside for match number one right now. The rocket ship is just launched. Here comes the ultimate warrior. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The ultimate I hope the warrior takes you with him, Saxon. I'm sure there's plenty of room on that rocket ship. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 326 pounds, Warlord. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. A victory over the Warrior makes you a legend, right, guys? Absolutely. Could make you a future Hall of Famer. Or you might find yourself in a hospital. Funny games, clearly not on his mind here tonight. He's got one focus in this matchup here, and that's to secure the win at any cost. But imagine what's going through his head right now as he stands across from a man who is fighting for all of his little warriors. The Warrior's followers are like family to him. And the family that Warrior lives for only breathes the air that smells of combat. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Abdominal stretch. How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. Targeting the arm is great. Looking for the advantage here. Fought off with an elbow. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Spine buster. And here's a cover. One count and he gets his shoulder up. Very soon to be going for a pinfall. Setting up. Suplex! He's got the shoulders down. And bypasses the pinfall. Yeah, seem to be just testing. His shoulders are down. Oh, somehow. I think this match still has a ways to go. Out of the way in time. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. The power, the intensity to the forces from outer realms. Corey, can there be a best approach when scoring off against the ultimate warrior? Warrior's gonna try to push the pace, so you must land repeated shots that do damage. Wear Warrior down, counteract his offense. Back suplex! This could do it. He forces a break before the count of 
two. Staying in this one. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. What a close line. Good grief. And he goes for the pin. Just after two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. But that might be it. He should have known that wasn't enough. The electricity has been cut. The world slow to a stop. Oh, foot just stomping down. Counters that. Oh, sharp knee. Catching a drop kick. He is just reeling from that offense. And this match is not over yet. Things are over. To the sky. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out of the Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Go ahead, Byron. Tell us all about it. Oh, oh. Time to feel the power of the ultimate. Lifting up their opponent. What's in store? Oh my! Discus punch. Talk about dismantling your opponent. So much damage inflicted. Relentless attacks from the ultimate warrior. Get out of the way. Warrior's gone mad. Dominating shoulder tackle. Superstar showing off their strength, and it's only going to get worse for their opponent. Slam. Oh no, Warrior in trouble. The cover. Kicks out. He still has life. Almost inhuman at this point. Curry, the superstars get right back in this match. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey, believe it. Back body drop. Exclamation point. Bam. Spot. Bam. Bam. And when he kicked out at two, I cannot believe it. That sucked all the air out of this place. It looked like a done deal. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Somehow he's able to work his way out of the holes. Brutal knee right to the face. Scoop slam. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Victory 
for this superstar tonight. And for, oh, look at this! Oh, 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 oh. Are you kidding me? What's the meaning behind this? We'll find out in due time that the message was sent crystal clear. So the Ultimate Warrior is able to defeat the Warlord, a huge victory, but then after the match was over, Ravishing Rick Rude comes down and attacks Ultimate Warrior from behind with a kendo stick. You'll remember Ravishing Rick Rude lost last week in a somewhat controversial fashion. He lost to Jake the Snake Roberts. Now, Bobby the Brain Heenan was distracting the referee while Jake the Snake was pinning Ravishing Rick Rude. The referee finally saw the pinfall attempt, came over and started to count. Rick Rude grabbed the rope, which should end the count. The referee did not see that, continued the three count, and Jake the Snake Roberts got the victory. And I think Ravishing Rick Rude was none too pleased with that. Yes, we're being given a statement here from Ravishing Rick Rude. He said the disrespect he encountered last week when the referee continued to count the three despite his hand on the ropes was absolutely ridiculous. And Ravishing Rick Rude says here he will claim his respect by going after whoever he damn well pleases here in the WWF. And I guess the first stage of that is going after the Ultimate Warrior. I'm not sure that's a great decision by Ravishing Rick Rude, but it certainly is a bold statement by Rude here tonight. But now it's time to move to our second match of the evening. We've got Brooklyn Brawler, another member of the Heenan family, taking on the British Bulldog in a debut for both superstars. Let's see who comes out on top in this incredible second match of Saturday night's main event episode number two coming up right now. Better get ready. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bobby Heenan from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 247 pounds, the Brawler. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. in the history of WWE. Think back to WrestleMania 2 when he won the tag team title as part of the British Bulldogs and since then he's gone on to win the Intercontinental title, the European title, even become a hardcore champion. Speaking of, Byron, have you been housebroken yet? And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has... A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Ow. A big boot. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. 
corner now. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, man, nasty kick. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, stomping away. Stomping their opponent. Oh, a forearm smash. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. If the British Bulldog's gonna win this thing, he needs to set the terms of this match in his favor. That means keeping it in the center of the ring and focusing on his grappling skills. Good call, Corey. A more traditional pace and style certainly would play to the Bulldog's strengths. Able to get out of the way. Springboard misses the target. Gotta find a way to get out of this. He manages to escape it. The ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. The Bulldog's attack gets reversed. far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Oh, look out. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh, what a knee. Waist lock, no, no, belly to belly. My goodness. He's absorbed some damage already. And we're down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. In full control of their opponent with more in mind. Discus punch. And now gets tossed into the ring. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Big knockdown. Oh, looking for it. Back body drop. match we are witnessing. Looking to put an end to this. Snap pile The British Bulldog proving his bite isn't something you want to mess around with. Respectful, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Boom. He's taking this to the floor now. Quick back elbow. Detours that offense. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Bulldog lining him up from the top turn.
turnbuckle. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. Just breaking down the opponent. Digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Got caught in the jaw with the knee. Oh, costly error there. Tossed into the corner. This won't end well. From the top. Uh oh. The power of the British Bulldog and the Pagan Boy Power Slam. Will Davy Boy take advantage? Two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. So the Brooklyn Brawler puts up a pretty good fight and actually bloodies the British Bulldog in this match, but in the end, the British Bulldog is just too much for the Brooklyn Brawler with the big power slam at the end finishing things, and the British Bulldog picks up his first victory in this new wrestling universe. Big win in his debut for the Bulldog. Now we move to match number three. We've got the debut of Sal Valiant. A man who hasn't had a whole lot of wrestling victories. He's had some success on the indie scene, but now he is stepping up in terms of quality in matches quite a bit as he takes on Mr. Perfect, who, remember, has not been defeated by pinfall or submission in any match in his pro wrestling career, much like Andre the Giant. Mr. Perfect was not able to win that eight-man battle royal last week, but does not count as a loss since he was not pinned or submitted. So let's see what happens. Will Sal Valiant get a big opening win here in his debut in WWF? Or will Mr. Perfect continue his undefeated professional wrestling career? Let's find out as we send you to ringside. just wafting through the air right now. Corey, what on earth are you talking about? The WWE Universe loves it. Oh, it would be the first time the WWE loved a self-absorbed competitor. If you smell what I'm cooking. Here comes trouble. And his opponent, accompanied by Bobby Heenan from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 257 pounds, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. And 
And we can already see just how focused he is in this one. How the cover. He's able to kick out before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. some of the action from the previous match. Here is your winner, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. So Sal Valiant is able to actually get a few moves in on Mr. Perfect, but that seemed to only anger Mr. Perfect, as Perfect then followed up with that Perfect Plex, ending things very quickly, ending any hopes of a huge upset by Sal Valiant. Mr. Perfect gains his first win in his first solo match here in the WWF and continues his unbeaten record. He has still never been pinned or submitted in his pro wrestling career. Big win for Mr. Perfect here on Saturday night's main event, episode number two. Now to move to match number four, we've got the man who had a big week last week, Greg the Hammer Valentine, won that eight-man battle royal. Huge victory for Valentine. He takes on Brutus the Barber Beefcake, who didn't have such a great week as he lost to Andre the Giant, the eighth wonder of the world. Let's see who comes out on top in this matchup. Will Greg Valentine continue his momentum, or will Beefcake pick up his first win here in this new WWF? Let's find out as we send you to ringside. competition here you can see exactly why the wwe universe is so amped up for this one
He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 272 pounds, Brutus the Barber, Beefcake. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Absolutely a picture of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the fight. Bitter perseverance is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. He's taking on a guy that's looking to put him in his place here. Right? This guy's been saying all week how he's going to prove a point in this match tonight. Look at this. He's not suplex. right to the lower back and the reverse DDT. He turns it around. Saw that one coming. Bam! On to the back of the neck. Gonna torture their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh man! Look at these debilitating forearm strikes. Oh man! Oh my goodness! This strike it at will makes the cover. Kick out in one. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Snap in, driver. Face first. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. Yeah, he is showing us a lot out here. Talk about cocky, gloating after placing the knee on the back of the neck. Sleeper is cinched in, and you can see little by little the opponent is fading. I have no idea. In trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. And he sends him into the corner. Ah, oh, striking with an A. Back stops to the gut. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Oh! Ooh. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. Makes him pay with a counter. Unpacks a well placed punch. Neck breaker! They are fading off the WWE fans now, pinning the arm down and. Goodness gracious. Snap their driver face first. He'll head to the ring. Four. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's got him by the leg. Elbow 
drop. Piercing. He's struggling a bit here. Four. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. He's ejected from the ring. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Taking this one back Whoa. to the ring now. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Massive atomic drop. Rolling neck snap. Just getting thrown around out here. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. Leg sweep. Nicely done. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Boom! He has to be at his limit now. Not what you want to see by any means. Another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner, Brutus the Barber, Beef King. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. So it took a couple of sleeper holes, but in the end, Brutus the Barber Beefcake is able to get his first victory in this new wrestling universe, defeating Greg the Hammer Valentine, who was coming in with all sorts of momentum, but he drops the match to Brutus the Barber Beefcake here tonight on Saturday night's main event episode number two, big win for Beefcake. And now we move on to match number five of the evening. We've got Rick the Model Martel taking on his former tag team partner, Tito Santana. As Strike Force, they were one of the best young tag teams in wrestling, but then the ego of Rick the Model Martel got way too big and the tag team fell apart. 
Now they face off one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Of course, they met in the eight-man battle royal last week, but here tonight it is Mano Imano Martel taking on Santana. Let's see what happens as we send you to ringside. And here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 230 pounds. Rick. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. And his opponent. From Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 234 pounds, Tito Santana. This is a competitor who isn't happy with a win unless they get a handshake from their opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? Apparently, they lack a spine. Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he is well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. But don't discount the man he's facing, a man who has been counting the minutes to getting this fight started. He's one step ahead there. A humiliating slap. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for T, Corey. Very measured elbow drop. Trying their opponent's arm out. Oh, my goodness. Paying it right back with a reversal. Just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Well placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. He has slapped a lot for it. It's none of your business, Cole. Yeah, this early, no chance. collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. To the jumping. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Oh, sharp knee. Oh, oh, oh. German suplex. The fight is being brought right to him. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Setting foot in the ring now. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Oh, the neck breaker. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Snapmare takeover. Fish 
Astro. Headed up, he's thinking big. From the top. Piercing elbow. He's been quickly taking control here. That's a sign he's got his opponent figured out. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. He fends off the attack. Shoulder before three. Very close. The T clearly set again. Oh man. He's looking a little weary now. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Looking to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Punishing stretch. Very measured elbow drop. Done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Included. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Knew what was coming there. What the lariat. And just eating a knee on the reversal. So agile. Shoulders down. Breaks the count. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. He heads outside, countouts legal in this match. Fisherman's Buster! Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. He was elusive there. against him here. Yeah, now he has to devise a way back into this. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. He's heading back to the ring. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Dodge right on cue. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly how all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives it. Right now, he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. Uh-oh, look at this. Inverted. Really as 
close as it gets. Superstars left it all in the ring. Yeah, it's a shame there had to be a winner and a loser. And oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man, this emotions are running very, very high between both athletes. And so Tito Santana connects on that flying forearm and is able to defeat his former tag team partner Rick the Model Martel, getting the three count victory here tonight. And more interestingly, after the match, offers his hand in a post match handshake, apparently looking to finally bury the hatchet between these two rivals, former tag team partners, where things went sour. And Rick the Model Martel, of course, not able to accept defeat graciously, slaps Tito Santana's hand away. It looks like the rivalry between these two is far from over, but a big victory here tonight for Tito Santana. And now time to move on to match number six. This is a rematch from last week. The million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, who was able to defeat the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, will try to do so again. Dusty Rhodes wanted a rematch. The WWF general manager gave it to him tonight. And Dusty Rhodes, as we mentioned in our pre-show, uh, he is trying to prove that that million dollar title that Ted DiBiase brings down to ringside is nothing but a sham. Remember, Ted DiBiase completely bought and paid for that title. He never won it in any competition. Dusty Rhodes is set on proving that title is meaningless here tonight by getting a victory. Let's see if Ted DiBiase can pick up another win over Dusty Rhodes or if Dusty is able to get that victory here tonight. Let's send you to ringside. You know, at one time, this man was the richest in the history of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted. Uh, be on high alert because the results of this match might be a little fishy. I wouldn't be surprised if the Million Dollar Man paid off the referee. Well, Saxon, I happen to have a handful of Benjamins that say that you're lying. An all-time great in the ring, being rich is a bonus to DiBiase. Yeah, but listen, Michael, we all know money doesn't buy everything. Yeah, but it does buy most of the good stuff. As the Million Dollar Man always says, everybody has a price. And his opponent from Austin, Texas, Weighing in at 275 pounds, Dusty Rhodes. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the oh, ring. I can't wait. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared. There's the bell. The title might not be up for grabs, but to the challenger, so much is on the line here. If he wins, he could just as quickly be next in line for a title opportunity. And then you have the magnanimous Million Dollar Man, a superstar who could easily be relaxing in the lap. Here he goes for the win. Still only got one. 
Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Oh, stomping away. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. DiBiase was scouted there. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Dropkick hits the mark. He saw it coming. Big slam. Uh oh. DDT with authority. Left hook in the mush. Taking it on the mouth. Look at this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Style. Surprisingly efficient brawler is the million dollar man. What do you do to counter something like that? Fight right back. The million dollar man thinks anything can be bought. What throws him off is when someone refuses to give him what he wants. Make him work overtime in this match, and you just might surprise him. Right down with a DDT. Taking it outside the ring now. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Now he's been put on the defensive. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. Oof. Fighting in the crowd now where the cheers may drown out the ref's count. Better be careful. He should be honored to be made a fool of by the million dollar man. Superstars have it out for each other. This is a feud that can only be decided through competition. It's almost scary how determined they are to take each other apart. This is what happens when things get personal. Yep, yep. <laughs> Thrown back in under the ropes. his plan here right to the kidneys from behind he's getting pushed out into the defensive at this stage of the match they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth oh and cheap shot right above the eye send him up rushing the leg sweep ted dibiase picking the competition apart dibiase cannot be stopped right now another knee drop But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. Getting back into the ring. Oh, man, you can... Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Getting set up for something in the corner. DiBiase was scouted there. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. He gets back into the ring. Defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Breaker excellently executed. Say goodnight, the million dollar dream. Made hey, the million dollar dream look like chump change. Oh. 
Rousey wards that attack off. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Gets him with the counter. DiBiase's in a precarious position. Superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. The million dollar man with that. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Left hook. Oh. get without the bell ringing. Big forearm. And it's a tough spot now for DiBiase. Yeah, DiBiase might be close to being shut down. Oh, oh, bionic elbow. That's not it. I don't know what it is. Oh, he just kicked out. Wow, well, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Good golly, what a knee. Superstar fired up in the face of victory. And what a classy display by the loser. Not how the night wanted. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Yeah, classy. Not at all. How about pathetic? So Dusty Rhodes is able to avenge his loss to the million dollar man Ted DiBiase last week. He gets the three count victory tonight. It wasn't a bionic elbow that ended things, but a running elbow drop is enough to put away Ted DiBiase. Big win for the American dream Dusty Rhodes here tonight. And then after the match, Ted DiBiase feigning that he's trying to show some respect to Dusty Rhodes as one would typically do if they had any sort of class. DiBiase offers his hand in a post-match handshake. Rhodes goes to shake his hand, and of course, Ted DiBiase has low class as always, despite being called the Million Dollar Man. He hits Dusty Rhodes with a low blow instead of acting like a man and shaking his hand after admitting that Dusty Rhodes got the best of him. Of course, that's not something Ted DiBiase can do. He hits him with the low blow as we have come to expect from Ted DiBiase. I don't think we've seen the last of these two going head-to-head -head after that despicable move by DiBiase. But now we move to match number seven. We've got two more debuts here tonight on Saturday night's main event episode number two. We've got Barry Horowitz, who likes to give himself that pat on the back anytime he does anything remotely uh, successful. He is taking on the big boss man, the former Cobb County, Georgia lawman, it has come to bring law and order to the WWF. He says far too much underhanded tactics are going on, kind of like we saw with Ted DiBiase. So we'll see if Big Boss Man is able to do what he says and clean up the WWF. He's going to start tonight with Barry Horowitz. Let's see how things go as we send you to ringside.
the following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Florida, weighing in at 221 pounds, Barry Hot O. Witch. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. From Cobb County to the Hall of Fame, it's the boss man. And his opponent from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing in at 350 pounds, the big boss man. Cobb County, Georgia's finest. Ready to still a little law and order here in WWE. Yeah, big boss man has been known to put some opponents actually in prison. And here is a superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight, but if he isn't careful tonight, he might end up in the jailhouse courtesy of the big boss man. And boss man will have no problem taking him by force. We're talking about one of the most callous and barbaric superstars around. What's Boss Man going to do? And down with the suplex. He's absorbed. He thinks he has it. Kicks out at just one. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop for added measure. Just look at Boss Man go. Boss Man serving up his form of justice. From the top. Are you kidding me? Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Grabbing a hold of the arm. All the weight down. trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. He's going to go back. This could be it. No, stops the counting too. Obviously still has some fight left. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. Big boss man takes on every opponent with such malicious intent. It's got to be hard to overcome those odds when big boss man is aiming for you. It's definitely not easy, but it's not impossible. Sometimes that rage will backfire on him. Big boss man's like a bull seeing red, Cole. His opponent just has to be the matador. Big splash! The body is starting to fail at this point. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. That's the type of assault we expect from the big boss man. Get that paddy wagon ready. Boss man slammed one impact. Wow. Boss man got all of it. Two. And this one is over. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, the Big Boss Man! No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt-kicking. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. 
This one was about as lopsided as they come. So in about as dominating a fashion as you can possibly have in a wrestling match, the big boss man is able to absolutely destroy Barry Horowitz here tonight. Barry gave it his best shot, but that wasn't nearly good enough as the boss man absolutely eviscerates Horowitz. That patented big boss man slam at the end, putting Horowitz away, and big boss man has a very impressive debut here in WWF picking up the victory. And now it is time for match number eight of nine tonight. We've got our current heavyweight champion, Bruno San Martino, the living legend who won that title last week against the immortal Hulk Hogan. He faces off with Hacksaw Jim Duggan here tonight in a non-title match. Remember, even though this is a non-title match, if Duggan is able to get a victory over the champ, the WWF general manager is surely watching and that would probably get him a title shot at some point in the near future. So let's see what Hacksaw Jim Duggan does with this opportunity. The proud American taking on the Italian superstar, the living legend, Bruno Sammartino. Let's send you to ringside and see what happens. The living legend. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Champion, the living legend, Bruno Sammartino. The man who sold out the world's most famous arena 187 times. Looks like he sold out this place too, Corey. The pride of Italy, perhaps the greatest pro wrestler of all time. Well, Michael, I think his championship reigns certainly back up that claim. And his opponent from Glen Falls, New York, weighing in at 270 pounds, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun, heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> what? That is horrible advice. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. And remember, this is a nine-title match, but still a high-stakes affair for the champion's opponent tonight. For the sake of pride alone, this is a must-win match on both sides. Neither man can take each other lightly. I hope for their sake that neither of them will. But across the way, we have a certified living legend, Bruno Sammartino. In his heyday, Bruno was essentially unmatched in terms of strength and in-ring prowess. Now he's ready to continue his unrivaled dominance. The credentials of this man are staggering. If you combine his reigns, he spent over a decade holding championship gold. He set world weightlifting records. The list goes on, and it all adds up to disaster for his opponents. An agile escape. Step up for the side rush and leg sweep. He was waiting for him to make his move. Oh, and cheap shot right above the eye. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hole. Oh, just tap out, just able to punch his way out. Tossed into the corner. Boom, right to the midsection. Stomping away, and then the knee right into the throw. Just ruthless. Bruno looking somewhat less legendary after absorbing that blow. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh, and back of the elbow. Yeah. Oh, he knew what was coming. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. 
Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Oh! Loving blow. Climbing the turnbuckle now. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. From the top, the last handle connects. and yet he's still in this match? And that was a precisely measured attack. And returning to the rank. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Outside! Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Taken down to the mat. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh, atomic drop! <laughs> Bruno is really fired up now, standing tall against him. He's got to be running on 
my instinct alone. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. And a bad exchange there for San Martino. Could be signs of trouble for San Martino here. Power slam. Feed off the WWE Universe. Ooh, line delivered. Sent a message with that one. Makes a cover. And the kick out. There was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Atomic jump. Ooh. to yet another attack. Oh, no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Looking to apply pressure. Submit. He's going to have to tap out. He does. Celebrating a hard-fought victory. And, oh, guys. We know that music. We certainly do. Oh, from behind. Oh. A well-laid trap. We never saw it coming. So after Bruno San Martino, the current world heavyweight champion here in WWF after his big victory over Hulk Hogan last week, after he gets the submission victory over Hacksaw Jim Duggan tonight here in a non-title match, the Iron Sheik comes out of nowhere. His music plays. You couldn't quite hear it, but his music was playing, and that led Bruno San Martino to look down the aisle looking for Iron Sheik coming at him, but then Sheik comes from behind after that and completely lays out the world heavyweight champion Bruno San Martino. Of course, the Iron Sheik had a huge victory over the Ultimate Warrior last week, and it looks like he is calling his shot. He wants a shot at that world heavyweight championship title. This is a very underhanded way to go about getting that title opportunity. But it looks like Bruno Sammartino may have a little beef with Iron Sheik after tonight's events here. And we now move to our main event of episode number two of Saturday Night's main event. We've got Jerry the King Lawler calling himself the true king of wrestling, something that Harley Race over in WCW may have a little bit of an issue with. But he is going to take on the macho man Randy Savage. He says he will prove he is the true king of wrestling by defeating the Macho Man here tonight. Of course, Randy Savage just barely lost out on being the first ever Intercontinental Champion here in the World Wrestling Federation by his loss to the Honky Tonk Man last week on Saturday night's main event. But we'll see what happens here tonight in our main event. We've got the debut of Jerry the King Lawler taking on the Macho Man, Randy Savage, coming up right now. The greatest king 
in wrestling history. And his opponent from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. The King has arrived. A true legend even before setting foot in WWE. I had some great battles back in the day in Memphis against Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage. Nobody holds court quite like Jerry Lawler, a true WWE Hall of Famer. And make no mistake, the King can still drop you. He's got an explosive right hand. Oh, and don't forget about the pile driver. Only one King in sports entertainment. And folks, you're looking at him, Jerry. The King Lawler. Dozens of championships won in Memphis before he joined WWE. One of the all-time greats. Hey, King. The flying fist drop. It was actually an honor of mine, Corey, to be able to have uh, been hit in the mouth by the flying fist drop at one point in my career. Well, the King looks ready to deliver a royal beating. Maybe to you again, Michael. Maybe to Cole, but King won't let you near his crown, Saxton. Oh man. And with that bell, we're seeing the Macho Man ready to face his opponent tonight. Oh yeah, the cream of the WWE. Randy Savage is one of the most energetic superstars to ever step into the ring. His flamboyance aside, the Macho Man has everything needed to rise to the top. Often imitated, but never replicated. Macho Man has influenced many that have walked in his footsteps. And standing across the ring is a bona fide legend out of Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry the King Lawler, one of the craftiest veterans this business has ever produced. Yeah, don't let the commentary career fool you. Lawler ruled the territories back in the day. He knows how to mix it up, knows how to play dirty, and doesn't have a problem doing it. Randy Savage is an icon the world over and a revered champion. What are those things attributed to? It's Randy's unrelenting commitment to formulating a strategy. By the time the bell rings, Savage knows everything there is to know about his opponent and the quickest way to make him suffer. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. And finds a counter. Oh, torturous knee. Oh, and Kaden fights back. A sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Put in a position now. Oh, Randy Savage connected with a good shot there. Dig it. And King moves. Kick to the gut. here. And that only gets a one count. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? He returns to the ring. And clearly Lawler thinks he's still got the goods, but he needs to not get too comfortable here. And look at front back, suplex. Very nice. Chop block without warning. Boom. Foul driver on its way. Just trying to win. You're trying to keep your opponent down indefinitely. No, no, no. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Enough already. Ooh. Hands of knee. Impressive display of dominance from Savage. Savage has definitely done his homework tonight. Top-notch strategy from the Macho Man. And that definitely made solid impact. And he slides him back to the mat. The wind-up. And the pitch. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. So much damage inflicted. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move.
Jerry Lawler with the... He paid for that one! Oh, man, big time. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh, what a knee! Talk about dismantling your opponent.
face buster plants him. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Savage thinking big. From the top. Oh, an inadvertent shot hits the referee. Just a continuous rush on Lawler there. What offense from the mark. Savage now. Pitch high atop the rope. Drop from the Macho Man. Pinpoint devastation from Savage. on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. And up the turn buckles we go. guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Uh, the competitor now exhausted after that match. Wait a minute, what's he doing here? What's the meaning of this? Trash talking. Well, agitation from the top of the ramp. Well, we've got a new robbery on our hands. So after a very hard fought match, the macho man Randy Savage is able to pick up his first victory here in this new WWF defeating Jerry the King Lawler who is making his WWF debut here tonight on Saturday night's main event episode number two. Lawler had claimed he was the real king of wrestling and would prove it by defeating Savage here tonight, but that didn't quite work out the way he wanted it to. Adding to the intrigue, we then saw Jake the Snake Roberts emerge from backstage to taunt the Macho Man for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but it seems that Roberts has some sort of bone to pick with Randy Savage. We'll have to see what develops from this, but for tonight, a huge victory for the Macho Man. And that will wrap things up for tonight, folks. Yet another incredible night of wrestling action is in the books. Make sure you tune in next week for Saturday night's main event episode number three. And of course, WCW Monday Nitro will also be back next week for their third episode. All sorts of breathtaking action in both companies as we move closer and closer to our first premium live events in this new wrestling universe. WCW getting the first crack at the end of this month with the Great American Bash. And then WWF following at the end of next month with In Your House. But before those can't-miss events, we've got several more weeks of must-see episodes of both WCW Monday Nitro and WWF Saturday Night's main event coming your way. Until next time, good night, ladies and gentlemen.